all four of us have a blank blitzball bat and today we're gonna be replicating some of the most famous metal bats. We have played with design bats before, but we have never attempted at actually creating some of these bats. I, uh, who knows how it'll go. I selected the pencil bat. I selected to recreate the hype ice bat. I got the pink and blue soldier tank. And I selected the bone saber, Lone Star Edition. We have one hour to recreate those bats and we are off in three, two, one, go. <laughs> We're headed to the store right now and there will be a winner of this video. The way you can accumulate points is through your design of the bat, hitting home runs, and catching fly balls. Most points at the end of the video is your winner. I think I got the hardest bat. I gotta get the lettering perfect. We need some pink and blue tape. I feel like outside of Chandler, no one in this group is artistic either. No offense, guys. So I have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I found the tape over here. I'm looking for tape, looking for tape. Tape's right here. Tape, tape's right here. Oh, man. And there's so many different shades of blue, too. I do need some green. All right. All right, guys, so I have just found multiple shades of blue. That's all I really need, but I'm definitely snagging these four. I think I absolutely lucked out. Look how perfect these colors are. Pink. Blue, I think I might need an exacto knife because I'm gonna have to cut out perfect lettering to go across the barrel. I got the yellow, I got the black, I got the green. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. It's probably not gonna look great. I'm not Mr. Archie Fartsy. All right, so Quinn may have got a little bit of an outside the box idea. We have all this ribbon and so I think I'm gonna get red, white, and blue ribbon, wrap it around my bat. I could do spray paint, but I could also mess up there, so. I think the more I shy away from paint, the better my product will turn out, because I'm not a painter. I've never claimed to be a painter. What you got there? Ribbon. Ooh. I'm totally scratching the ribbon idea. Terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> Tape is so much easier. Where is a dark green marker? I want a green marker, so I can like write in the thick dish and stuff like that. Other people have made some insane bats that I've seen online. <laughs> I don't know how much faith I have in us. Secured the exacto knife. I think I'm good to go. I got Sharpies to go with my bat as well. We're looking good, but it won't look good once I start crafting it. Pain. Gentlemen, we just arrived back. We have 39 minutes remaining. Go ahead and dive in the bag. Let's start. All right, I can tell we're actually locking in for this one. My bat is not coming along because Tyler sells the pink tape. Make, make your eraser. I'm still waiting on Tyler to finish his eraser version before I can start mine. So I'm gonna take this time. Lafferty Daniels is the official sponsor of this video. I mean, we are all dripped out in these super comfortable polos. And these aren't designs that you just find anywhere. Like these are so unique. Quinn's looking pretty solid in his fit. Got the golf ball polo on with the black hat. And I got the Waterbury polo on. This is my personal favorite. I gotta say, I do love this color combo and the matching hat. I don't think you can beat it. Caden over here has the splatter polo looking smooth in the salmon kind of color and got the gray LD hat on top. Tyler is in the maps blue polo and the white hat. Just love these fits from Lafferty Daniels. And for a lot of you, school is right around the corner and back to school shopping has to start at Lafferty Daniels. These polos are some of the most lightweight, comfortable, stretchy material and the hats to match it look phenomenal. So make sure to go check out the first link in the description, Lafferty Daniels. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Now if we're talking buddy, I need scissors. Oh dude, I think I did too much lead. It's just hard trying to get the tape to look like smooth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This yellow tape sucks. It's like see-through. Evacuate the dance floor. Y'all, okay. This is actually a great attempt. Y'all can't even lie. I mean, it looked good if it was a five-year-old. Quinn is so, I've never seen Quinn this locked in on the challenge. Look at him go, look at those leathers. He's even trying to 3D. I, I think this is the most impressive thing he's done. Even like in my life. <laughs> I promise you my life not that pathetic where this is the most impressive. <laughs> and honestly, I'm really happy with what I got going. Uh, we still got a little bit of time left. It's not really a gradient, it's almost like a splatter going up. I still have the letters to do, but I'm really, really happy with what this is looking like. Dude, we're all locked in right now. All right, I'm the first one done because I'm the best. I don't like to toot my own horn, but 
<laughs> yeah, toot toot. <laughs> Leather's gonna be the hard part. Nice, that looks really good. Sapar at best. <laughs> <laughs> and we go get over to uh, the pencil bag. That's a boy. Nice, that looks really good. You better not do it. You better not do it. It should have made the eraser a little bit bigger because <laughs> I had to erase that thing quickly. <laughs> All right, y'all, definitely the hardest design I'll ever make, but I'm close to done. I wasn't trying to be too specific because if I try to get too specific, I'd just mess up. Kane just finished his bat. It looks about as good as everyone thought it would. <laughs> Take that as you will. <laughs> yeah, that's the best bat I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, these numbers are really big, but I don't Never care. So real. I think Chandler's bat's gonna be the winner. I mean, it's all right. We're finally done. Wow, that's crazy. We are done. Time to play. Kane's bat is 100% the worst. What do you take with? Nothing. All right, here is my pencil bat. Got the lead, got the yellow. Pencils are numbered, so I put one of one. It's a one of one bat. That's my bat. It might not look the greatest out of the four. I, I won't lie. I had a scene in middle school in art. So with that being said, and you guys might be surprised, but I'm kind of proud of myself with how this bat ended up. I think I tried my best today. I'm not gonna lie. I think I kind of ran away with this one from a design aspect. I think this is the absolute closest anyone got to the exact replica. The details are just so insane on this. And then the lettering. I, I think the lettering just absolutely knocks out of the park. I think I'm gonna win. Last, certainly not least, we have the Bone Saber Lone Star Bat. Golden laced handle, the 3D lettering. I think all in all, this is a 10 out of 10 bat and probably should be uh, ranked the highest. That, that hype ice has to be last for me. Caden's Ice Hype 3. And last but not least, Caden. She's not a fan, not a fan. Quinn's Bone Saber 2. Bone Saber 2. Quinn's number two. And three Tyler's, but that's saying a lot that he's number three because this is an amazing bat. I don't think he did anything wrong with this. Number two, we'll go Tyler with the pencil bat. By far the best replica. Pencil bat, one in my eyes. Chandler Soldier Boy, number one. Chandler Soldier Boy. Number one, Chandler, best bat. Each one of us with a replica bat gets 10 swings. One home run is one point. If the defense catches the ball, whoever catches it adds one point to the score, so you can even score that way. Catch every single fly ball, because if I catch it, I get points. All right, still at one. That's out. That's way gone. I'm at two. These hats right now, they're blocking the sun pretty good. Just saying. Like, I feel like some hats give me a headache. These are like, no, these are comfy good. all the way around. These are good. All right, a normal blissful bat is better. <laughs> but it looks decent, right? <laughs> right? Fall tip. I'm not gonna lie, that was kinda hype, Kaden. Ah, ah. I love how clever that was, Tyler. Uh -oh. Drop it! All right, Chill's at five points. The leader just got a point. That's what you don't wanna do. I'll let him have it. Do we wanna keep this bat after? <laughs> I'm gonna throw the GoPro! I'm gonna throw it! Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to cop one of these hats. Stop your friends from costume pop pop ups. What's Tyler, it? you actually did a pretty good job of distracting me. <laughs> I, like, I like that scared. I like you're like right behind me. That's way gone. Three points. All right, it has some pop to it. Two more. Three points. Will I be using this bat again? No. Not at all. I barreled it too. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with three. That's fine. I'll catch it. I'll be ready. That's it? He's done? I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, I got two points. I'm a sneaky guy. Oh, for two. Everybody scoot in, it's Quinn. I almost went off, though. Oh, for three. Oh, they're on the other side. Go, 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 go. Pull it. You gotta hit it over, buddy. This bat's rough. One for five. I'm at three total, three total. Fudge, man. Oh, I got that one. That might be the farthest one I've hit in this field. Two for seven, four total points. I need to catch one here. 
Honestly, these bats so far haven't impressed me that much. They look cool though. All right. Hey, we'll take three. That puts me at five. Tied for the lead. If I make a play, wow. if I make okay. a play, and you have a donut, <laughs> then we got a chance. I gotta make some plays. I definitely finished last in this challenge, boys. I didn't know I had that. The old man still's got it. Jump boy two, let's get, let's get a couple homers. Get over. Ah! Oh, that's gone. There we go. That's one. One for two. That's another one. Two for three. I'm on a heater. Okay, Tyler. Tyler at five. He's tied the lead. Oh, Quinn. That went right to him. Two for four. That's fine. Quinn is in the lead by himself with six after the catch. I don't think that's making it. That was close. Ow! <sighs> that was a long way to run. The fact that I'm literally wearing a polo right now and it's so breathable. We are running, sprinting in these, and I am so comfortable. Oh, oh why did I swing at that? Hands are getting sweaty. The duct tape is not good for the swing. My hands are very sweaty. Is that going? Wow, I didn't think I was gonna get out. Tied with Quinn for first. Three for eight, come on. I need, I need to finish going. No, why am I swinging at that? Oh! Three for 10. Well, not the greatest performance, but yeah. I got a chance to do it. <laughs> I got a chance to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This is the closest I've been to glory since the dark times of this channel. My arts and crafts was all worth it. I'm only one point away from the lead. One home run with tied lead, but they can make catches. It's either gotta be on the ground or a homer. I, I can't let anything hang up in the air. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my. No. Get it. Who catches it? Quinn's at seven. Ah! Quinn takes the lead. Tyler's at second with six. That was absolute worst case scenario. I'm now down two. I'm now down two. That is really, really bad. This is a weird feeling. No, Quinn, no. Quinn, you better, no. Wow. I got lucky. I got lucky. This duct tape is so slick. Yes. Yes. Go. Yes. I'm at six. Quinn's still in the lead. I want this so bad. Ooh. No, Quinn, do not get there. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. My goodness. This is a weird feeling for everyone, I bet. Quinn started off with only two points, and to give some credit, I was his pitcher. A catch walks it off for Quinn. Oh no. Guys, I don't like hitting with pressure. I wish I would have gone first. No pressure, no pressure. One more swing, and all Chili can do is tie it. Final swing. You don't want to lose to Quinn. Don't let me down. No! I made such a good bat for what? No! I made such I'm a good bat for what? I'm the greatest arts and crafts. I'm the best at hitting the home runs. I'm sick of being humble. I am the greatest blitzball player of all time. I hit one home run in 10 swings, who am I? And I let her down, I let her down. I'm at the top, might as well stay there. See you later. Quinn, don't let me do it. Are you guys comfortable in these? I could even say that these are the greatest polo I've ever worn. Stretchy, comfortable, stylish, obviously, as you guys can see. LaftyDaniels.com. Make sure to get you guys one of these beautiful polos back to school. But you know, I had to stay locked in, got the job done. Stay humble, kids. Right now, click that link that is popping up right there in the top right of your screen. We'll see you guys in the next one. I told you guys, I got y'all.